take a look at the representation of how we are supposedly moving through space, personally I think it's complete BS. We are told that our planets are flying along spiraling through space at 450,000 miles per hour, cutting a kind of helix path through space. Give me a break, with all this motion, why don't we see any changes in the constellations, they have looked the same for centuries, and I ask you one thing, how do we get comets that have repeat visits with retrograde orbits? Halley's Comet for example was first seen in 1682, then 1758, 1835, 1910, and the last appearance was 1986. How is it possible for that comet to know where we will be the next time it comes round? Take in mind that the Sun is moving at 450,000 miles per hour and when Halley's Comet is on its way back out of our solar system, we are both traveling in opposite directions, the Sun heading one way at 450,000 miles per hour and the comet heading the opposite at 157,838 miles per hour, so you boffins out there. Can you answer these three questions? 1. Can you explain how it keeps returning if we are spiraling through space? 2. How many miles it has traveled from 1910 to 1986? And 3. If it is flying away from us at 157,838 miles per hour, how fast would it need to be going to catch us up on its return?